from the Ronga Mountain, um, Namibia, Ronga region, uh, aquamarine. Now, this, this, the size of this one would compete with the best in the world. Unfortunately, that is damaged on that on that face over there. But look at the size of these crystals. A very, very healthy size. There's some smaller crystals running around there. Uh, the black here would be tourmaline crystals. Um, there's a bit of feldspar, so there would have been a bit of matrix here. There we go around this way. Nice, uh, nice blue, so a good color on this guy. If one can use it for faceting, there's uh, too much internal uh, fracturing for faceting, but still. Uh, let's just zoom in on that. That really does look like a break. It, it can, I must actually have a closer look. Maybe it is crystalline. Well, anyway, there's the main crystal face on top. I'll just angle it in so we can actually look inside it. This is uh, naturally a little bit overexposed, but. Uh, yeah, this would be fracturing, so the crystal would have uh, grown out like that. You see there, there's the more typical form of a cross section of the aquamarine. And this is a, a large aquamarine, so uh, one doesn't see these all that often. A really, really large piece from the Iranga mountain, there may be a nice color. Um, can be displayed all the way around, so give it a slight turn like this. In like that, 